Welcome back, Minecraft fans, to Aztectopia. Today, we pay our respects to a hardworking farmer, Wolfram Gray, killed by a zombie inside his own house. You will be missed. The details about that can wait. In the meantime, we should start this video off with a time lapse so nobody loses interest and goes anywhere else. Check this out, this time we're building a library. Enjoy. So, what do you think? This is another freestyle design, but I really like how it came out. Of course, I started with the diagonal motif from the main building, and this is another one that's mostly stone because it's a more important building, not like the house, or I suppose the tavern's important, but it doesn't matter. This one has less wood uh, and more stone. And uh, I was doing the tower, and of course it seemed a little tall and, and maybe too big, but I kind of like how it turned out. And it has the added benefit of kind of looking like a book lying open, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, so all that's left to do is the interior, of course, and I'll just zip through this. We've got two sections here we can turn into the library with books. Because we could get another farmer and another woodcutter and another chef and just kind of double up on everything. But I think this is going to be much better in the long run because what the library is going to do is help us get smarter chefs and woodcutters. If this is the general design that I'm going for with something in the middle, maybe using andesite here, like, um, let's see, it'd be three by three. So it'd look kind of like this, two spaces here, one space there. Huh, why isn't this centered? Oh, oh, I know why. Okay, it'd be like three by three right here. And that way we could just have books everywhere. Well, anyway, let me get these bookshelves in and I will show you and, oh, give me a break. Today we mourn the death of Bray Gilmore, beloved lumberjack. Bray, you will be hard to replace. Anyway, check this out. This is a happy place, just like a library should be. And you know what'll make it a little bit happier, I think? A little bit of this. So let's get this around here. This should be okay because I don't think any of these are too high so villagers won't get stuck trying to get up onto the carpet like they've been in my other buildings. But let me give you the idea. There's not that many bookcases but I don't think they need that many. So I think like a villager comes and reads and occupies a bookcase and I don't think I'm going to have so many villagers reading in the library that I can't uh, make do with just what is this? 14 bookcases on this side and 14 on this side. Uh, when I get this side done. 
but yeah, things are going really well. And this already looks like the most, you know, fancy. It probably looks fancier than this one, which should be the fanciest building. But, you know, I think it's going to be awesome. So I'm just going to mirror this design over on the side, do something for the mezzanine uh, entryway here. And then we'll see about getting some new villagers. Okay, was anybody going to tell me that I did blue on the bottom and green on the top on this side? But on this side, I did green on the bottom and blue on the top. I could have sworn I checked. And then it got this far before I finally realized. I was putting in the bookcases on this side when I said, oh yeah, yeah, they're green over here. And they were blue. Uh, but over here, they're green. That's how long it took me to realize what was going on. And I did it on this side too. Library, 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 library. Yeah, there it is. 36 emeralds. Ooh. Hopefully this pays for itself with everybody getting all smart, learning all their book learning. Uh, let's go finish it off. And, uh, it's a, and what -a. Hey, it worked. Cool. And looking pretty awesome. I don't know about you, but this is where I would hang out. Ooh, so nobody's going to the library. But that's okay, we'll give them some time. They'll probably go after work. No, oh, that's what I always did after work. Straight to the library. Never went home to play Minecraft or anything wasteful like that. But anyway, uh, I did make an improvement in the kitchen, a much needed improvement since the last episode, and that would be the addition of a crafting bench, a simple uh, tool that belongs in a wood shop, not necessarily a kitchen, but allows our chef to make bread. Because I didn't think about the fact that you need three slots for wheat to make bread. So anyway, now he's making bread and beetroot soup, and we're selling it to the merchant and making a ton of money. That's how we were able to afford this place. But we have 31 emeralds left. Oh, hello. And let's see. Oh, 30 emeralds left. Oh, and a heart. This is uh, what's left over in a villager bed sometimes, uh, and you can apply it to an unused bed to get kids in your village. Um, but we're not going to do that because right now uh, kids would really have nothing to do except to go to the library and nobody wants to grow up in a city like that. Hey, like this! Our second ever heart! Perfect timing. That's exactly why I came over here. See, I forget to check uh, and that's probably why we only have one. But anyway, so we have the potential for two kids, but we do have two beds and I want to add two more villagers to our little village and the time has come to get meat. So, as you may have seen, I've introduced so a local herd to the island. Uh, they came from another island and, and they've just been growing. And so what I'm going to do is get a, a rancher, a, a cow wrangler, and a cow pen. And I think that we're going to put them over here because I also want to dedicate this area to the butcher's uh, place. That way you can take the cows, Cut them up, the chef can take them and add them to the tavern, and then everyone can go to the library and read a book. Nope, there's still nobody in here. Oh well, like I said, give them some time. Wait till Nicholas Sparks write a new book, then everybody will be in there. Voila, the animal pens are mostly, almost completely done. Uh, so let me give you the tour. Over here we have a multi-purpose pen, which can be used for pigs for a little while. These aren't very big, but then um, I think uh, they won't need to be. Uh, <laughs> I think animals are going to cycle through here pretty quickly. Over here we have the cow pen, the biggest, but also signified by a crude stone carving of a cow likeness in the wall, which I think is kind of cute. Um, and between the carvings and this sort of, uh, I don't know, wave design here, 
that's the only thing that really ties it into the theme. Uh, the roof, for instance, is just your basic pen, shed, barn, roof, uh, which uh, made out of spruce that you could do for just about anything in any setting. But uh, then again, it really doesn't have to be overly complicated, I don't think. But then we kind of have a picture of a really derpy goat slash sheep. It's got kind of horns, which I know some sheep have, and then those ears that stick out that all sheep have that are just so cute. And this was too wide, so it was really fun to do the eyeballs really close together <laughs> like that. But um, but yeah, and I was filling it in with dirt um, like I did the other ones when I realized that the sheep are going to need to munch on the grass because they're going to be sheared by our rancher when we have one. So I thought I'd better actually let the grass grow in that one. Whereas these ones I don't think will need that. The cows get milked, um, but I don't think they need grass for that. I think it's just like a twice a day kind of thing that they can be milked. And then this will be the chicken pen, chicken coop, which is very small, which is fine because chickens are small, but also um, not done yet. And uh, so I'm thinking we have enough to get one animal pen and a rancher, so we'll get cows because we might need the leather to make books. And actually, we, since we have a library, we can probably uh, get an enchanter at some point once we have those cows and uh, and a butcher, then we can take the leather and uh, and make books out of it, which would be kind of cool because then the enchanter could come and enchant the books. And I did have to change this library up a little bit because nobody was going in here uh, because this whole level that was raised up by one was the whole library. Apparently the rest of the building didn't scan in because it was on a different level. So what I did instead was I kept this the way it is because it looks beautiful and I couldn't bear to change it. But I took the item frame and I put it on the other door and lowered it by one so that this would be the floor level and then all of these books would scan in and people can come in here and read, which I'm not sure if they have even done. So I'll keep my eye out for that. But uh, the time has probably come to get our cattle pen and see if it works. 30 emeralds ought to do it. Hello! That's right, you never sleep. Oh, we got pigs, we got sheep. We got cows, 24, oh goodness. Now you're supposed to just put it somewhere near the fence gate. And either one of these fence gates would work, so let's try... Yeah, let's try this one. Whoa, it worked. Okay, I think we're in business. Now, the idea is if we get a rancher, he or she will start rounding up the cows and bringing them over to this pen. And I do want to be kind of careful because there are a lot of places for a rancher to get into trouble. So hopefully cows haven't wandered off towards the lava or the cliffs or anything. Hopefully this will be a safe roundup. <gasps> yes, somebody's reading! Oh, and it's, uh, it's Siren Bass. This is our replacement woodcutter for, um, the, the late Bray. Where are you going? Did you get smarter? I don't think you did. All right, Audrey Swiller. Excuse me. Hello. Audrey Swiller. You are already partly a rancher, so that makes you the best candidate with your five intelligence, or you're not the same person, uh, for our next rancher. Audrey Swiller. Go round up some cows, yeehaw! And look what our experienced rancher did. Two cows in the pen, the correct pen, I might add. Plus, she walked off this way looking for a bucket. So I'm thinking that if we provide some iron buckets, we might even get some milk. But since it's not a villager bucket, since we don't have a blacksmith, we might not get, you know, green uh, the green item, the villager milk, so that doesn't sound right. I'm not going to say villager milk anymore, but you get the idea. Let's see what happens if we provide, let's say, how did I only get four? Let's say four iron buckets. I'm going to put them right here, and our rancher's going to see them and come grab those and start milking some cows. Where is that rancher? Audrey? Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. That is a hard working rancher. That is an honest day's work. Not like our good for nothing chef who just walks around waiting for his 
potatoes to bake. And now the chicken coop is done. And I think we're pretty much done here. So let me get rid of this since uh, it's kind of in the way. Now that we've started building over here. And of course the trick was to hide water sources underneath this little ridge here. Um, and I'll fill that in, but let's put our chicken coop up. Uh, I think that it'll work if I just kind of go like this and throw that in there. All right, cool. And it won't be hard to fill up with chickens because I can very simply, oh, excuse me, go up here to where I have a little egg dispenser and take some of the eggs. It's been full for quite a while now, so let's just get uh, a good starter, starter flock here. And of course the rancher will start breeding them together to get what are called villager animals, uh, which are way better than, here, I don't need that. Let's just do this. Way better than uh, any animals that I can make because, are those all inside? Because they'll create green eggs and it turns out that I can sell those green eggs to the trader, which is why we've gone with uh, chickens. Oh, yep, that didn't work. Well, I think this is as good a place as any to wrap up the episode. We've got five villagers, very happy, some new, some old, some replacements for those fallen. But we got two new builds, a library where people can go to get smarter and better at their jobs, and some animal pens. We got cows and chickens. We're doing pretty well. Uh, of course, we've got plans to make a butcher and a, a little butcher shop over there so we can cook up our, our cows and chickens and trade them to the trader. But, um, but on top of that, I want to get more uh, farmers and more woodcutters and, and more ranchers maybe even. And uh, because, for instance, look at this, like wheat. Uh, we can bundle up 64 wheat and trade it for some emeralds. Or we can use the wheat to make bread and trade that or eat it. Or we can uh, use the wheat to feed the cows or the seeds to feed the chickens um, to get eggs and sell those and, and milk to make uh, cakes. Um, there's, it just goes on and on. So even just a little bit of wheat has so many uses now, we're going to need more, more infrastructure, build up our primary resources. And um, before we can begin to think about like tertiary resources, like the tavern or the school to teach our children. Uh, and we got big decisions to make, like this, uh, this lake over here, this crater. It looks like the, the whirlpool where they throw their offerings in El Dorado. We got to decide what to do with that. Should we just cover it up? I'd welcome your suggestions as well. If you have anything you want to see, but I do want to add more houses so we can get more villagers. So maybe like a little house up there is in the plans and, and some houses spread out all over the island. I think would be really cool. And then pathways connecting them. So we got a lot of stuff we got to work on. That's not even to mention uh, entire other lines of, of business like miners and blacksmiths to make it into armor for guards to protect us. Uh, whew, there's a lot to do here and we have almost no emeralds. We're broke. So uh, we'll, we'll be working on that. There's a lot of different ways to do it, but I think uh, we're on the right path and uh, we can cover all of that next time when we come back to Aztectopia. Hello.